My job is to shut other white people down when they want to interrupt. My job is to shut other white people down when they want to say, oh no, I'm not prejudiced. I'm a Democrat. We cannot smash voices down when they are trying to scream, listen to me, you don't get it. I'm a white woman. I don't get it. Whoa, that was DNC chair candidate Sally Boynton Brown of Idaho. Brown is not a nobody. She leads the Idaho Democratic Party. Tammy Bruce is a radio show host. I'm a Fox News contributor, and she says this performance shows that Democrats have learned nothing from the November election. And she joins us now. Yeah. Hi there. Tammy, thanks for joining us. What, what was that about? What's your read on that? Well, exactly? look, you know, I was on the left. I was with now, and I saw this building. It really is kind of a cannibalism internally. Look, if you're uh -huh. a Democrat, if you're a politician, you want to reach every American. But right, what this right. is, is the boiling down of identity politics. That's all they've had. The left, liberals, the Democrats can't win on the details of the issues. So what they've done is they've separated Americans, they've pitted Americans against each other, they use emotion, they manipulate people based on those emotions. And part of that has been, of course, about racism, sexism, homophobia. And what we're seeing now, since they got completely shellacked, they are now a, a regional weak club, they're really kind of boiled down like a sauce, uh, Tucker, uh, and they're like at the heart of what it is that drives them, which is this racialist point of view, which is not racism, right. it's more of everything is seen through race or with feminists, everything is seen through gender. And the American people are saying, look, we see things through the job, through our bank right. account, if my child is going to be safe, if I, I don't want to have to worry about them, about war. These are the things that have marginalized the party and have now made them irrelevant. Or they see themselves as individuals. The Democratic Party is uh, organizing itself along tribal lines, right. tribalism. How does that end up? I mean, there, this, is a, I mean this is a movie we've seen before in a bunch yes. of different periods of history and a bunch of different countries. Yeah. What's, the, what's the end point of this, do you think? Well, in the countries that are not America, of course, where this kind of power ends up really exuding power, is a, a large groups of people get killed because it, some groups then, just like with Animal yeah. Farm, are more special than other groups. So you've got to reinforce that throughout society. Part of the discussion in this election, of course, has been the forgotten man and woman. They weren't necessarily forgotten, Tucker, and it's not just white individuals in middle America, but it's also people of color in the urban area. Yeah, it's sure. anybody who just didn't quite fit. And when you begin to look at Americans that way, or anyone in the world, uh, you're going to need to pit them against each other. The great thing, of course, about this country is we can have this conversation, we can tell those individuals they are not forgotten, and we can change the dynamic. But now you're seeing this real meltdown, right? You, you've, you've got this uh, dynamic where there is a hysteria, effectively. We see it in the media. We're seeing it in the party itself. And that woman and every candidate there, by the way, who's most of them who are running for the DNC, were doing exactly the same thing, pandering to the lowest common denominator, which ruins, frankly, all of our lives, I think. Yeah, and it certainly doesn't help their party long term at all, as you no. noted. Yeah. Tammy, that was a really smart analysis. Thanks a lot for coming Thanks on. for having me. Thank you.